John Kreft is a starting center for the Florida State basketball team. At seven foot tall, you may think his road to success has been an easy one. He was one of the best high school basketball players in the country. It looked as if nothing could stop him. It was uh, about a month before I was supposed to graduate. And um, I just got caught up in a bad situation and I just had to pay for what I got caught for. Because of his coach's objection, John was not able to disclose why he was arrested, but the effects of the arrest were tremendous. It meant time behind bars and his scholarship to FSU, gone. It wasn't until a couple days after the whole incident had happened that it like really hit me what, what, like, what was going to happen with my life with losing my scholarship. and. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to play ball again. John spent one year in jail. At a time when John thought everything was gone, he received a phone call. Coach here at Florida State just saying, uh, asking me just a serious question if I still wanted to play or not after my sentence was done. And I said, yeah, it's still something I want to do. It's still a dream of mine. And when I completed everything and took care of my business that I needed to be taken care of, he was right there to take me back on. John was offered a scholarship to play two years at Chipola Community College with the condition that if he worked hard and stayed out of trouble, he would get a scholarship to FSU back. It's taught me just how to like be responsible, no matter like young or old or you feel invincible or not, that you have to pay for every action you do, like whether good or consequences are bad. College has a lot of distractions, and to stay out of trouble these days, John says he focuses on his schoolwork, basketball, and he gets plenty of sleep. With the past behind him, John hopes to lead his team to a championship. Within the next year, John sees himself being drafted to the NBA and would love to play for the Miami Heat. It's his hometown, and his mom would be able to cheer in the arena instead of in front of the TV. For FSU, Lisa Heights.